Hey everyone, hope you're doing well today. Trancher Dan here. So as you can see by the title and of course what is in front of you, I do have some bad news and that is the death of the big ass crab. Now this crab only fed uh, four days ago. Uh, he was alive and well then. So I'm going to say probably just old age. Um, I actually did a video on this earlier on. However, my phone locked up and I restarted it and then the footage didn't save, so I've got to redo it. But um, basically beforehand, uh, the crab was actually still in uh, this enclosure that I have for it. You can actually see, if I just lift the lid up, you can just see a bit of, you can't, it's an angle, uh, a bit of carrot in there that was uh, from a few days ago. Everything else has been eaten, the fish food, uh, the carrot, the fruit. Um, I put some uh, crickets in there, which he ate uh, a couple of those as well, just some small ones. So he was eating well. Um, and then just this evening, I was in my uh, my room checking on animals and uh, just saw, sort of saw him basically in, in this kind of position. Legs were a little bit more sort of killed him, but I've just been measuring him. Um, so yeah. Uh, kind of gutted to be fair. He was an awesome addition in my collection. I enjoyed having him for the time that I did. I'm going to assume he was an adult uh, from when I had him. And of course, the unboxing video of the Big Ass Crab was fantastic. If you haven't seen it, stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll put a link up to the unboxing of this monster crab. He is absolutely huge as far as sort of crabs go, at least ones that you can get in the pet, you know, as a, as a pet. Um, yeah, he's uh, ele basically 11 inches uh, squared, basically, um, from back to front and uh, from the widest legs across is 11 inches, I've just measured him. So um, yeah, big, big guy. You can see those claws, absolutely immense. Uh, crushing power in those, even the smaller one uh, would certainly give you a very painful nip. And uh, if I just sort of, if I do my bit with this hand to sort of show you, you see the underside, you can see he is, he's huge. I have actually cleaned him off, got all of the dirt off him and things like that. Um, and yeah, I'm genuinely quite, I'm quite sad that he's gone to be fair, because I enjoyed having him, I enjoyed sort of feeding him and observing him and everyone else seemed to enjoy him as well. So, uh, yeah, so I'd actually do an update. I don't normally do updates um, on my animals when they die, to be fair. Just, I just don't normally just don't bother doing it, I guess. Um, and then I end up with people asking me down the line in live videos, what happened uh, to that or can you give us an update on it? And uh, by then I don't have it anymore, so I figured... I should start um, recording when these uh, these things happen. So yeah, I say. I mean, if you look at looking at the size of him again, I mean, more than likely this guy was an adult. I can't imagine he had any uh, more growing to do. So um, hopefully, it was just old age and um, it was just his time. Uh, what I'm going to be doing with this guy is I'm going to be freezing him for now. And then I'm going to be placing him into some resin. I'm going to try my best and see if I can get him cast. I think he'd make an awesome paperweight, you know, over a foot across um, in like a dish. Um, I'm going to try and sort of get that kind of sorted and, and get him preserved. I think he'd make an awesome paperweight. Um, so that's something I'm going to look into, into doing. Um, but in the meantime... Um, you can see how big he is to that store there. It's colossal. Um, yeah, an update on a few things while we're here in the animal room. Now, I've had a massive sort out uh, over the weekend, getting things rearranged, moving stuff around. Most of my stuff is now here. A few little bits and bobs and some slings and things are elsewhere, but majority of my stuff is here. Um, yeah, while I'm talking about deaths... I should let you know I did lose some animals while I was in Guatemala, uh, which I'll do a full video on full deaths in my collection. I've lost um, 
several tarantulas, uh, slings, um, and a loss of scorpion and two centipedes. So uh, there will be an update on that, another negative video coming up. But whilst I'm on, on about Guatemala, I hope you've been I hope you've all been enjoying the series so far. Obviously, just uh, just a couple of videos up at the moment, um, which was the uh, the trailer and the actual first evening, you know, the evening of arrival video. Uh, the first day video is going up tomorrow um, at six pm, which is Tuesday, the nineteenth of March. So hopefully you'll all enjoy those, and I'd like to say a huge thank you to my patrons, of course, for not only supporting this my channel um in keeping all of these amazing animals of course we have yuna who's actually just kind of having a bit of a relax <laughs> bless her um not just for sort of supporting all of these animals and me keeping them but also the traveling so if you're a patron of mine in every single day video in guatemala which are probably some of the highlights um at the end of that video i have put a list in of all of my patrons so every at least once a week um every day video on uh, for guatemala and then every other saturday on every other week after that i will be um list listing all of the patrons that support me in my channel so a huge huge thank you to all of you i really do appreciate it uh just to give you a quick update on what's been going on with this uh still waiting for an egg sac on the p metallica p regalis are all good nothing too exciting going on there um Pocotheria and Numavida Samika are good. One's not eating, as you can see at the back, there's a hopper still in there. I think that one is due to molt. Um did some rehousings, Cuban blue, T Lagunas female, uh Gramostola pork ropes, like it's just gone off. Um Gramostola pork ropes, um there's the two mature males and the female for breeding. Uh, an update on these, which you'll see in a future video, but the um Panapelma penicillo is in there and isn't coming out. This girl ate, I and mean, we've got that on footage. Uh, this spider that was in here unfortunately did die, which I'll reveal um, when I found out. I was actually recording when I found her dead. Um, after molting, she not came out or anything like that. So, But there is actually another spider in there, which I'll show you in a future video. Um, Sawbar Blues, a couple of new slings that I got from the lectures. All of these slings and juveniles are pretty good. We house a scorpion, uh, some more rehousings, various things. We got Pokey out. Uh, I've packed your pork ripe in there, which we can't see. Uh, oh, yeah, beetles. Uh, the jeweled beetles uh, that I had, sadly, uh, they did both die. Look how shiny they are. They're super shiny. I'll do a full video on those, but um, yeah, the two jaw beetles did die, but I'm keeping the substrate in there with the hope that there are some kind of slings. Uh, ant colonies, one is dead and is just not doing anything. The other one is actually doing pretty well, and I fed them a hopper uh, just yesterday. If you have me on Instagram, you would have seen that. Uh, if you don't have an Instagram, you can find me at Tarantula Dam. But yeah, I put a video of... Uh, story of those feeding on there. Huntsman's doing good. That's empty. Salva Blue. She's molted. Update coming on that. Uh, Vicularia. Uh, not Vicularia. Wapapur Diversities. Doing great. Uh, Mbap4 Communal is coming on. Doing good. There's the Elphalax. Zelda's doing good. Celadonias. Uh, update on those. Uh, rehoused my Brazilian Black uh, into this enclosure. And she's looking pretty good and some other stuff down there. So yeah, as a whole, things are going pretty good. Oh, there's Bowser. Hello, Bowser. <laughs> I love him. Uh, so yeah, anyway, there's a look. I've got to get some stuff ready for that. Um, I've got a millipede kind of communal going in there. Um, so yeah, that's kind of a quick update anyway. <laughs> um, mostly to do with the crab, uh, genuinely, that kind of sucks. But it is one of those things, and uh, like I said, to let you know about the Guatemala videos. Hope you're enjoying them. Thank you to my patrons, and of course, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell not notification if you haven't already, and uh, like, leave a comment, and share my videos. It does really help me out. And with that said, everyone, 10 minute time cap is coming up. Thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you soon in the next video. Goodbye from me, everyone. Take care.